Hey guys, it's Gary here with a uh, garage sailing on Saturday morning. It's going to be a really beautiful day. I'm actually pretty excited. There's going to be about 50 plus sails here in town. Um, it's supposed to be about 80 degrees. So it's about 7:45 in the morning. We're hitting it a little later than usual. I had to bring the kids with me, which I feel bad for them, but that's what you got to do. My wife works on this on the weekends. Um, this first sail I'm actually sitting at right now. I came by yesterday. And she said that she had some video games that she was going to dig out, so to come back tomorrow morning. And it's, you know, quarter to eight, and they're still not set up, so I'm kind of nervous that they're not doing it today or something. So we're going to chill for a few minutes, and I guess we'll kind of see what happens. Okay, well, I sat here for about 15 minutes and waited for these stupid people to come out and set up shop, but they still haven't come out yet. So but clearly they're not going to. I don't want to sit here and waste my day. It just sucks because the lady said yesterday, oh, we've got an old Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis in these two big boxes and full of games that we were going to sell but we didn't think anybody wanted because they're so old so come back tomorrow and you know we'll sell them to you for really cheap because we just don't want them and then uh... yeah they still had it advertised and they still aren't coming out so I that shit that makes me so pissed off I hate when people do that because you waste time going out to these sales and they don't even have the common decency to pull the listing or at least I don't know but anyway so <laughs> not off to a very good start I'm hoping I'll find some good stuff along the way to kind of make up for it, so see you guys soon. Well guys, I just came up to the next sale after that last one I was just complaining about and it definitely made up for it, so I'm pretty happy. Um, I rolled up here inside a PS2 and a bunch of games in a box and the guy was only wanting like 15 bucks for it. Asked him if he had any more stuff and he went in the garage and pulled out an NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis and a few games, not, not a lot. I mean, they're they're not in the best shape, but I, I still got a pretty good deal on it. So I'll show you guys here in a little bit later when I get home and kind of do a recap video. So we'll keep going and see what happens. All right, guys. Well, we just stopped at another sale here. Um, got a few good things for really cheap, actually. Picked up a GameCube with Spider-Man. No cables, no controllers, but for three bucks, I was willing to bite on it. Um, also picked up a Star Wars Jenga or a Star Wars Angry Bird Edition game set. A couple Star Wars and. Ninja Turtle puzzles and a couple of girl Mario bags for my daughter. And I think I paid like all together about maybe seven or eight dollars. So very exciting, going pretty good so far, guys. Let's see what else we can find. All right, guys, we are und all done garage sailing for the day. It's about one o'clock. Um, everybody's kind of shutting down for the day. So we're going to go home, eat because we are starving, go pee because we've been holding it for like three hours. We're kind of hurting, aren't we? Yeah, so we're going to go home and do that. And then I'll show you guys what I got, so see you in a second. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we are now back home after what seemed like a very long day of garage sailing. Um, we were out for about probably a good four or five hours, and we did have some pretty good luck, as I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Um, definitely had a lot of fun. It was a very, very gorgeous day out, so there was, you know, about 50 plus sales. Um, I couldn't get to them all. You know, my kids started getting pretty cranky. I don't blame them. We got hungry. We had to pee. We... <laughs> You know, after you're in the car for five hours, especially with kids, it just it gets really difficult. So we came home. Um, but yeah, it was about 80 degrees out, a little bit of a breeze. So it was just a beautiful, beautiful day, for, especially for that kind of thing. Um, so we got off to a little bit of a late start. I was wanting to leave the house about 7 o'clock this morning. But, it, you know, as, as you parents know with kids, that's it's very hard to get out of the house or get to places when you plan on. You usually have to configure about another 30 or 45 minutes to, onto what you're planning for. So we didn't get out of the house till a little after 7.30, and as you guys saw earlier, first sale I went to was a lady that I was very, very excited to go to because yesterday, um, as I said earlier, went to the sale, you know, asked if she had video games, she didn't have any sitting out. She said she had two huge full boxes that had an old NES, Super NES, Sega Genesis, and a crap load of games that they haven't played in many years. And they wanted to get rid of it, but they thought since they were old systems, nobody would want them, so they, that's why they didn't get them. So she said, you know what, we'll go to the storage facility tonight, get them out, um, come back tomorrow a little before 8 o'clock, and you know, you, you'll get first dibs on them. And she said she was going to give me a really good deal because they just wanted to be gone with them. So I was really excited. I, I, my mind was going crazy. I felt like Christmas, you know, because when people tell you that, you get all kinds of ideas of what's going to be in there. Um, and, and as you guys saw, we went to that sale this morning. I sat there for a good 15 or 20 minutes, and I didn't see anybody walking around the house. I didn't see anybody come outside or anything. So I was pretty pissed off. It put, that put me in a pretty foul mood. And 
I honestly kind of assumed that was going to set the tone for the rest of the day, so I didn't expect it to come out with much, but we, we did get a pretty good haul. I'm pretty happy. Um, so I'll kind of start off. I'm not going to go in chronological order. I've just got stuff kind of strung out over here, so I'll just kind of get to it as I go. Um, but the, the very next sale that we did go to was the easily the best find of the day, I'm pretty sure. Um, I rolled up, and I... As, as I said before earlier in the video, um, dude had a big, you know, a pretty good sized box with a PS2 in it, a few controllers, and probably about 20 some odd games. Um, the PS2 was broken, like the, the disk drive was jacked up. He said that one night when he was playing a game and he opened it, it fell over and the drive broke. So the PS2 is probably useless. But luckily, usually there's people on eBay that'll buy those. I don't know what they do with them, but they pay a pretty good amount for the fat ones. I think they pay like 30 or 40 bucks. And I'm guessing they ship them out to somewhere else to get fixed and they resell them or something like that. So hopefully um, I can do that just to kind of recoup what I paid for it. But I asked him if he had any older stuff and he's like, you know, actually I do. I'm just kind of reluctant to let it go because, you know, those are my childhood systems. And I was like, yeah, you know, I understand, man. I don't want to try to, you know, pry those from your hands. But he kind of stood there and thought about it for a minute. And he's like, you know what, man, they've just been sitting in my garage collecting dust. So I'd, I'd rather them go to somebody else. So he, he was, it was very cool that he sold them to me, and he gave me a really good deal. Um, so I'll start showing you guys what I got here. Uh, okay. So as far as the PS2 itself, um, like I said, PS2 system, if you can see right there, the drive's kind of hanging out there. <laughs> so I don't, he said it still powers on, but um, it came with the cables, like four controllers. One of them was busted up, so... And I'll kind of try to run through these games really quick. And I also see there's like five memory cards in there, so that's really cool. They're all first uh, Sony brand ones. Um, Hitman Blood Money in a generic case. James Bond 007 Age Under Fire. And, and most of these games I have, but there are quite a few that I didn't. So I'm actually I was pretty ha happy to add more PS2 games to my collection. Because I've got so many now that... Usually when I come across them, it's just going to be doubles, so... Um, Medal of Honor Frontlines. Van Helsing in a, in a clear case. Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Which, yeah, and mo most of these are complete and actually in really good shape. I was pretty happy. Um, Champions of Norath, which is a really great title. I'm glad to have that. Um, K1 World Grand Prix. That sounds like a, a racing game, not a kickboxing game, but that's... Uh, Motocross Mania 3, that kind of looks like fun. It actually looks something like a Road Rash or something, so that, that looks fun to play. Uh, Tokyo Extreme Racing Zero. Tekken Tag Tournament. True Crime Streets of LA. Virtua Fighter 4. Soul Reaver 2. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Um, Pirates of the Key of Bean at World's End. Um, Men in Black 2, Alien Escape. It's probably not very good, but I don't have it, so I'm actually very glad to add that to the collection. Uh, let's see, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. He wrote The Two Towers on there, so I'm guessing that's what's in there. Yeah, The Two Towers. Um, the Thing, which I've heard is actually a really good game. It's actually kind of a hidden gem for as far as... Uh, you know, horror survival games go. I haven't got to play it yet, but the movie is pretty awesome, so I'm going to give this a try eventually. Uh, the Incredibles Rise of the Underminer. Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. Uh, Legacy of Kane Defiance. EJ Club World, the, making, the music making experience. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. Looks kind of neat. Um, Extermination, that actually looks kind of cool too. It looks kind of like a horror survival game. And SSX, which is a series that unfortunately I've never played, and I've heard a lot of great things about them, I just never got a chance to. So that's, that's cool to have. Alright. So, like I said, that's what he had for his PlayStation 2. And then he went back in his garage, pulled out his, his retro game system, so I'll show you guys those really quick. I mean, you've seen it. I, I know you guys have seen them before, but like I said, they're not in the greatest condition, but they're not bad. I mean, a Model 2 Sega Genesis, and all these have their cables and controllers. They're just, they're in a box in a huge bundle of wires I got to go through. And he said these all work. Um, the buttons seem okay. So, it, and, you know, for, for 20 bucks for these systems, it's, it's 
it's it's a good gamble. I'm, I'm willing to take that. So a Super Nintendo, which is in pretty rough shape. I mean, it's yellowed all over. It's got a huge chunk out of it right there, which I didn't even notice until now. So that kind of sucks. Um, but he swears up and down that it works. So you know, when I get it, I'll clean it up, test it out, make sure it works, and hope for the best on that one. And of course, a, a an original NES with a oh cool, um, a bonus game. I didn't know this was included. Tiny Toon Adventures 2, Trouble in Wacky Land. So that's cool. I used to love that cartoon when I was a kid. So that's kind of neat to have. And I didn't have it. So that's even better. That makes me happy. And then he had, you know, all the controllers, like I said, a an orange zapper, which is always nice to have. And then the games that came with it, he kind of had in a bag, which these have discolored as well. That's weird. Um, but Super Mario World. Donkey Kong Country. Those two I already have, but um, Earthworm Jim 2, which I didn't have, so that's cool. I'm very happy to have that. Disney's Aladdin, which I believe I have for the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. So. Of course, Mario Duck Hunt. Donkey Kong Classics, which I'm pretty sure I have that as well. And Sonic Spinball, which I think I have that too. So, Like I said, not a bad haul. 20... 20 bucks for the PS2 and the games, and then 20 bucks for the retro systems and those games. So, not a bad deal at all. Okay, so that's it for that one. Um, the next one, I think it was like the next sale or a couple after that, um, came across another PS2. Nothing quite as grand or anything, but it was very, very cheap. I couldn't pass on it. Um, it's a PS2 fat, fat booty. This one's in a lot better shape, though. Um, he says it works. He's been playing it up until a couple weeks ago. Um, it came with the system, the cables, three controllers, a couple memory cards, and three games, which is Eve of Extinction, which unfortunately I already have, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock, which I did not have, so that's nice, and Mortal Kombat Armageddon, which I'm honestly not sure if I had that or not. And then, like I said, the PS2, it's in pretty good shape. It's dirty, but that's, it's all right. He's, like I said, he said that it worked great. Um, I got all that for 10 bucks, so that's a hell of a deal in my opinion. That's not bad at all. All right, let's see. Um, okay, and then another sale I went to was in an apartment. They were just setting up. Um, he didn't really have a whole lot, but I was surprised to see what he what he pulled out. I asked if he had any games. He said he had one Super Nintendo game. He was going to go dig it out. Um, so while he did that, I was looking through his CDs, which was mostly like a bunch of Johnny Cash and kind of older stuff like that. but. Saw a Sublime Gold, which is you know like a greatest hit, so I had to pick that up for two bucks. That's I, I do like those guys. Um, and then he came back with Beavis and Butthead for the Super Nintendo with the manual, which is in really good shape. I was really happy to see that. Um, and he only wanted a dollar for it, so I was more than happy to pay for that. And I haven't played this game since I was like ten years old. It's been what is that, eighteen years? It's been a long time. So I'm I'm really excited to play this because I don't own it. So very cool. Okay. Um, now, the next sale I went to right after that at another apartment complex right down the road had a whole bunch of random crap, but I came across this. Um, the first thing I saw was a GameCube with Spider-Man sitting on top of it. And as you see, the Spider-Man has a $3 sticker on it. So I assumed it was $3 just for the game. And I asked how much for the GameCube. He said, oh no, that's the price for the GameCube and the game. I was like, really? Does it, I mean, it has to be broken then. And he said he's fairly certain that it works. He just didn't have the power cords for it. It worked six months ago, so it should work okay. Um, but for three dollars with a game and a controller, just it's not you know it's a Logitech one, but it's it's a pretty good it's a comfortable controller. I like it. And a little extender cable. Um, and he was he even threw this in for me because I wanted the little rascals. Classic movie. I used to watch this all the time when I was a kid. I picked it up for my daughter, but. She wasn't even excited about it, so that kind of bummed me out. But anyway, I got all that for $3. That's a, I mean, that's a hell of a deal. I, I, like I said, I'm willing to take a gamble on it. If it doesn't work, I'll sell it for parts or something. So no complaints there. Oh, and he also he threw this Jason mask in too. I, I told him I wanted it just because I was going to go try to scare my daughter. I put it on, and I ran up to the car and you know slammed on the glass really dramatic-like. And she just kind of looked at me like, dude, come on. I'm trying to watch a movie. So... <laughs> I think with all the horror films I watch in the house, she's just kind of desensitized. So that makes her awesome while simultaneously making me a horrible father. So, <laughs> but 
Um, let's see. And then next up was... I'll be honest, the sale I went to was in a really crappy neighborhood. Like, there was just a whole bunch of kind of grungy kids playing right in the middle of the street. And the houses just looked really run down and nasty. So I almost didn't stop. But I'm really glad I did. So kind of keep that in mind. Even if you're going to a really crappy part of town and you're kind of skeptical if they're going to have anything, I would go anyways because you, you just you never know what people have. I mean, I, I got a lot of great games out of this for a really great deal. So I'll, I'll show you. Um, and when I went up there, he didn't have any games out, but of course I asked. And he said, you know what? I've actually got a box full of like PS2 and GameCube games I don't play. So he brought them out to me and I dug through them. And a lot of them I didn't have. So I was really, really excited about that. So, and all of these, I think all of them are complete, maybe one or two are not, but they were a dollar a piece, so I don't even care. It's, that's a hell of a deal. I got a really good deal on these. Um, so first up is The Lord of the Rings, The Third Age for the GameCube. X-Men Legends for the PS2. Xeno Saga Episode 2. Johnny Mosley Mad Tricks, which i probably never play, but... At this point, I've got so many PS2 games. I'm, I'm guess I'm kind of going for a complete collection. It'll probably never happen, but um, Dragon's Lair 3D Return to Return to the Lair. I, I don't know if it's as awful as the NES version, but I didn't have it. So um, Castlevania: Lament of Innocence, which I've always wanted to play. This it looks like a lot of fun. Huge fan of the series. Um, Dynasty Warriors 5, which is Actually, I think I have it, now that I think about it. Yeah, I do have it. That sucks. I shouldn't have grabbed it, but oh well. Um, Star Ocean, Till the End of Time. Another great RPG. He, he actually he had really good taste in games. He had some others in there, um, some really good RPGs that I probably should have picked up, but I already had them. So I was trying to be nice and let the next person come through and pick them up. Um, Prince, of Persian, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. Um, Tekken 5. Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly for the GameCube. Motocross Mania 3. Did I... Uh, oh, God, I just picked... <laughs> I didn't realize I had that in other, the other lot. I guess I didn't really go through the games earlier, so now I've got two copies of that. Um, Anubis 2 for the Wii, which I've never heard of. It kind of looks... It looks fun, though. It's I'm not going to lie. It's a little Egyptian dude. It looks, it looks fun. Um, and Spirits and Spells. It just kind of looks like a cute little game. It's almost like a Harry Potter ripoff, but it looks fun. So, like I said, all those for a dollar, so I think I paid 15 bucks. It's 15 games. And he got me excited because he said that he, also, he had an even bigger box full of PlayStation 1 games, which my collection kind of sucks. It's not very it's not very diverse. It's mostly a bunch of junk titles. So he went and dug for it for like 10 minutes, and he couldn't find it, so he, he was pretty sure he sold them. So that's kind of a bummer, but I still, got, I still made out pretty well on that deal. Um, next up is kind of some random kitty crap, but it was just cool, I, and it was really cheap, so I couldn't pass it up. Uh, they had Angry Birds Star Wars, which is cool. I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so this is just kind of cool to have in general. And it was a dollar, I believe, so I, I couldn't really pass it up. Um, they also had a couple puzzles I picked up for 50 cents a piece. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Star Wars one, which is pretty badass. It's got the um, Luke and Darth Vader shot there with the Emperor in the background. Very badass. And I want to go back to school in style. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very stylish. So I got me a Super Mario lunchbox for my PB&J and a Super Paper Mario backpack, which is my favorite color. So that's pretty cool. I, th I think they were like a quarter a piece and my daughter, she'll probably use them for school. She's a big Mario fan. She's, she's awesome like that. So very cool, and if not, I'll, you know, I'll have it for the collection just to kind of show off down the down the road. It might be kind of cool to, to say I have. Um, let's see. I think I'm kind of getting towards the end here. Um, one of the last sales I went to, they had a whole bunch of PS2 stuff, but someone already picked them up, which I kind of heard that a lot today. So I, I I think competition around here is getting pretty stiff. Last year I didn't hear that too much, but this year it's been the last few weekends I've gone garage sailing, but. Um, so I did pick up a DVD, Pingu. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not. It's so goofy. It's it's a kid's show, but it's it's a clay animation style show about a penguin and his family. And it's it's just so goofy. Like, they don't talk. They just make, like, wah, wah, wah sounds. Um, <laughs> I can't really do it justice. You just have to watch it. It's really, really goofy. Definitely give it a try. Um, just watch it for a while. If you don't laugh, then... I'm sorry, your sense of humor is just... It's funny. I, I die laughing every time I watch it. 
And then I picked up this Venom figure, which is freaking, it's badass. Like, it's, I couldn't pass, it was only 50 cents. Um, she said the only reason they were selling it was because it was giving their kids nightmares. <laughs> so, and I don't blame them. I mean, it's, that's, that would creep me out as a kid too. It's pretty badass. And apparently this is like the porn style version with his Gene Simmons, you know, I'm gonna lick your butthole tongue. It's, it's, but it's pretty beastly. I like it a lot. I, I always thought Venom was a beast in general. So, very cool to have. Uh, let's see. Now, this isn't garage sale related. This is just, this was just next up in the uh, pile down there. Um, stuff I picked up at GameStop, you know, it, again, I would go at least once a week, kind of see what they have, because they've just got so much stuff in there for dirt cheap, especially Wii and PSP. Um, it, most of these games probably suck, but they were really, really cheap. I got Counterforce for the Wii. Um, it was 99 cents, so it's probably god awful terrible, but for a dollar, I'm not gonna pass it up. Um, Ghost Squad, which was 4.99, or I guess 4.49, which I've actually I've heard pretty good things about. Metal Jesus Rocks has talked about it a few times in his hidden gem videos. In any kind of shooter game, you know, arcade style shooters, I'm all down for. And I heard the the, the voice acting's horrible, which makes it so much better. Like the uh, the House of the Dead series, I love that. <laughs> Um, Ru Rubik's World, which is $1.79. I, I don't know anything about it. I don't know if it's any good, but again, it was cheap, so I grabbed it. And then Trauma Center, Second Opinion. These games are a lot of fun. Um, it, you wouldn't think it would be because you're performing surgeries and doing all kinds of stuff like that, but it is. It's a lot of fun. It's an Atlas title, so you really can't go wrong with those. And it was only $2.69, so I had to pick that up, of course. Um, I think that's it. all I grabbed, guys. I, I'm trying to double check and make sure, but I think that's all I got. So... Um, not a bad day at all. I mean, I'm very happy. I wanted more. I, I'm getting greedy, you know, even with all this great stuff I have. I was, I wanted to go hit more sales, but like I said, we were tired, we were hungry, the kids wanted to come home, and I, I didn't want to keep them out any longer, so. Um, yeah, that's it. So, I, I want to thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you don't mind, leave some comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, a little bit later, I'm going to do another video, you know, just a little a little segment, just a question of the day. I'll talk about a topic, ask you guys for your opinions. i got to think of something um, good to talk about. So I'll definitely get that posted later. I don't know that I'm going to do a Let's Play video because, honestly, not, I don't get a lot of views on them, which isn't the reason why I do it. It just doesn't seem like it, it gets a, a lot of interest. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a very funny person, if you can't tell. I don't have a lot of exciting things to say. Um, and I keep having issues with my computer, so I might do one tomorrow. We'll see. I've, I've got like two exams this week that I got to study for. So uh, thank you guys again. If you don't mind, please like the video. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe. You know, if you want to see more of these, check out my other videos and um, leave comments below. And thank you guys very much. I hope you have a great weekend. Take care.